What's up, people? Good to be back. Uh, this one's going to be a bit of a different video and going to be a little shorter. I have been spending a lot of time over the last year trying to get myself in shape. Um, I've done all kinds of different exercises that I do know how to do. And I just started looking up certain ones that I want to make sure I do right. Because uh, if you do them wrong, all you do is hurt yourself, right? And if you do more than you're currently physically capable of, you can end up hurting yourself. So you got to understand your limit. You can push it a bit, but don't push too much. So today I just started trying different exercises after uh, giving a small test run to make sure the equipment worked right. Uh, one of which was just doing push-ups, and I actually successfully did 10 push-ups uh, without too much difficulty, and I was pretty happy with that. Um, but once I got to 10, uh, that's where my arms and chest, everything just started to say, okay, that's enough. So I took a couple seconds break uh, off of that one first set and then I did another set after that which proved a little more difficult to accomplish and then I broke once more and went for the final third set which is really all you should do when you start just sets of three or two if you're only starting out with certain things don't push it too hard because then you end up hurting yourself like up in here and then you can't do nothing for at least three days and that just sets you back like a lot. You couldn't even run because you can't move your arms right. And that just, that doesn't work. Um, the other thing that I tried today was the pull-up bar, which is a new piece of equipment handed down to me by my brother-in-law. I gave it a test drive last week first. A uh, couple of different minor tests to make sure that it was going to work right. You know, I picked a door frame that I thought was strong enough to hold it, first of all, uh, and wide enough just to hold it in place without it moving. And then I jiggled it a bit just to make sure it was firmly in there. Uh, it was, thankfully. And then I tested to make sure that the frame and the bar were going to be able to hold me. So I just hung on it for a little bit, and to my surprise, it did hold. I was happy with that. Then I went for the next thing, which was just to see if I could even pull off a pull-up. And to my surprise and delight, I managed to get three pull-ups done uh, on the very first try before my uh, arm said that was enough. Um, but like I said, all that was just testing the equipment last week. I wasn't trying to do it right or anything. I just wanted to make sure that everything about it worked properly first. So it held in place. Uh, it supported my weight. And uh, the pull-ups were doing uh, pretty much the same exact thing. The bar held in place. Nothing went wrong. So I can now begin the process of doing pull-ups right. Uh, I did some research on that first of all because uh, something just told me don't try to go straight into the pull-ups again even though I could do three of them. Um, something tells me that I should try to do something else first. So I looked it up and there are two specific uh, exercises that I should be doing with the pull-up bar first. Um, and so I tried one of them today which was just to hold myself in place in a locked position like so and just stay there as long as my body was comfortable staying there uh and well it was only about six seconds or so or at least the way i counted <laughs> uh, i did that three times um with a about 10 15 second breaks between each one uh, just to give my arms a little bit of a burn so that they can start getting used to doing that 
Uh, so I'm just going to practice that for a while before I do any actual pull-ups because I want my arms to do the, the right job. Uh, once that's accomplished, um, I will segue over into the other uh, exercise I suggest, which is to just hold myself like this with only my elbows bent like so. And my legs lifted high off the ground as well in a cross position and just hold myself there for a little while. And that's another exercise I say to help build up the muscle tension strength so that you can get used to those positions, the lowing, the hanging, the gripping. That way your arms can get tense and handle that. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for my arms to get used to this, uh, as well as getting used to push-ups, <laughs> but I am not going to quit this. Uh, I will continue all my other exercises um, on top of these because I want to make sure I'm getting in the best shape I can. And the other exercises I have been doing this entire time, which gave me very good results so far, I am not complaining about it. I look pretty good uh, for what I've gotten out of it. But now I know it's gotten to the point where uh, my body's somewhat used to the routines that I've been doing, um, and they're not quite as challenging now. So I know I need to bump it up. I need to do something more like I gotta either increase time on certain things or increase the weight on certain things uh, speaking of weights actually um, I do uh, do weight training too um, but my room uh, though it's big enough for me to actually use the full bar uh, to push up the weights um, I got a couple of things crammed in this room it's got quite a bit of furniture for being how it is <laughs> i i'm not gonna pan around and show you the whole thing um but what i will do i gotta step out of frame for just a minute be right back <sighs> sorry about that it is uh, i'm gonna show you this is what I've been using. Just these simple dumbbell weights. Um, I started out with just five pounds uh, on either one. And the reason for that is because, well, I was just excessively out of shape. Uh, and I only do, um, I'll show you with uh, just this one right here. Like, I'll just do two, one of each so you can see what I do. Uh, I do this first I do about 10 first and then I go like this and I do that do 10 of those up top and then I go back to this I go for as long as the clock I set will let me do uh, if I get close though to finishing uh, the last set that I'm on regardless if the clock went off uh, so say if I only had like five more of uh, this one, which is where I try to stop. I try to make sure I keep it even on both ends. If I did like 100 this way, just say I did, which I actually tend to get to, and I'm happy about that. Um, I make sure that this side is evened out with everything, so I make sure I do 100 on that. So if I got to 95 and the clock went off, I don't care. I just I finish it. I finish. I go for the final five. Because that's just a couple of seconds over the clock going off. And that's not a big deal to me. Put this back. <clears throat> so, uh, that's the weight training. On top of me doing 30 minutes of running, uh, 30 minutes of crunches, uh, I try to give myself like two hour workout every day if I can. Um, uh, obviously you do, I got squats going, um, jumping jacks from here and there uh, just to get the cardio going. And 
Oh yeah, there's a um, bike I use. Uh, I think they really call it elliptical. Sometimes I get the situation of equipment confused, so please don't judge me on that. I don't go to the gym because I can't afford to go to a gym. Uh, but I have enough equipment here that I was able to pay for and own so I can do what I need to do here. And majority of any training, really, uh, you don't even need equipment to do. You could tr train yourself. You don't really need all the equipment. I just got a couple pieces because I don't really get out too much. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Now that I've gotten uh, an idea of where I'm at as far as the pull-up and push-ups are concerned, I can start incorporating that. And after I've done all these different things over the last year, um, I now see that I need to begin to switch it up and focus on different areas from day to day. Uh, which is what I will begin doing very soon after I get used to, as I said, the pull-up bar routines and the uh, push-up routines as well. Uh, finally, I will attempt to incorporate planking. Uh, that's that thing I've seen on the internet where basically there's uh, like a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, I only saw two. Uh, which seem like they might be semi-comfortable-ish to do. Um, but obviously you can't be too comfortable because it's an exercise. It's basically like you get in the pull-up, I mean, I'm sorry, wrong word, uh, the push-up position um, with your hands on the ground and you're arced and everything straight out, but you're not pushing up at all. You're just sitting there in that position. And it works all your core apparently uh, that's the one position to do it another way um, which seems more effective I've seen is uh, being in this position with your arms like that and uh, your whole uh, core area right here is really um, what's getting affected first uh, followed by your uh, calves and your thighs like the whole thing just just gets seriously worked out because um, you're just trying to hold yourself in that position. That's really all the planking is. You just hold yourself in that position. You don't move. It's uncomfortable, uh, obviously, but you got to train your brain to just be used to it and your body too. Uh, like I said, though, that's a little later down the road. I... I gave that one try just one time, see how long I could do one uh, where I was at earlier when I started doing my workouts way back last year. Uh, I just managed to get one minute done, which I was impressed by, but that was a real strain. Um, but as I said, that was just a test, so... I won't be testing anything anymore now that I know where I'm at. I can just focus on how to do things right from this point on. Uh, so in short, I am pleased with where I'm at so far, and I'm happy I finally incorporated these things. Uh, my figure has really been improving. I'm actually very impressed with where I got uh, but I will not quit. I know where I want to be, and I am now beginning to enjoy the exercise, which is basically the first and foremost goal. you got to enjoy what you're doing. It's work at first, uh, but eventually you like doing it, and that doesn't become work. It just becomes something you do. So thank you all for watching this. I appreciate uh, the viewings. Uh, and just so everyone understands, I am not making uh, this video to brag about all this stuff. I just felt like I wanted to share uh, my progress a little, that's all. Um, anybody who enjoyed this, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know you support where I'm at. And if you want to see an update sometime in the near future, like 
like uh, I do my next uh, photo check to see where I'm at in uh, let me see now, what was it June and I should be putting that up soon as I can when the month comes around as long as I remember to do it <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, thank you all for watching this and wish me luck. Check you later.